Hello students, this is Arshad Bhutta, CMA and ACCA. Warm welcome to you all guys. Uh, today I'm going to discuss about liabilities. So in today's session, we will discuss about what is liabilities, uh, what is the recognition criteria about liabilities, and what are the examples and classifications of liabilities. So let's start with what is liability. Liability is a present obligation of an entity arising from past events, the settlement of which is expected to result in an outflow from the entity of resources. So again, like assets, it is also a result of past event, but due to that event, your obligation is created. Uh, when you will settle down that obligation, uh, there is an expectation that there would be outflow of entity resources uh, against which you will uh, forgo your economic benefit. When liabilities are recognized in our financial statements, in our balance sheet, liabilities will be rec recognized in balance sheet when it is probable that an outflow of resources will occur to settle that obligation. Now, again, probable means chances of occurrence are more than chances of non-occurrence. But here, there is an outflow of resources. You will give up the resources. You are supposed to settle your obligation for that. And second thing is the amount for the settlement must have to be measured reliably. You know how much you are supposed to pay. If you know that how much you are supposed to pay and there is a high probability, there is, there is a chances of uh, occurrence more than non-occurrence that there would be outflow of resources then you will recognize as your liability. Now let's discuss some examples of liabilities. First example is creditors. These are the entities from whom you have bought the goods on credit. Then we have bank overdraft facility. It is also a liability over there. Bank is giving you the short term loan against your current account. Uh, then you have bank loan. This is the long term loan. You got the loan from the bank. Now this is the past event against which you are supposed to settle your liability in future. Uh, dividend payable. This is the liability of the company towards owners. Then bonds. This is also another uh, instrument to get loan from third parties. Now, these are some examples. There are a lot of other examples about liabilities. Uh, what is the distinction between current liabilities and long-term liabilities? First of all, current liabilities. Liabilities, those are payable within one year this is important any obligation any liability which is payable within one year that is called current liability let's assume today is uh, 10th of june if you are supposed to pay any obligation till the next 10th of june of 2021 uh, then it is your current liability, but the liability which is payable after one year, liability which is payable after one year is called long-term liability or it is also called non-current liability. Let's discuss some examples about current and uh, long-term liabilities. Current liabilities, bank overdraft, as I discussed you, that it is a facility given by the banker to its client uh, 
the client which is a trustworthy against its current account let's assume uh, you have balance of 10000 but someone will come with a check of 15000 normally bank will dishonor that check but when bank allows you overdraft facility then uh, they will honor that check and 5000 would be receivable in bank's books from you and it would be your liability you are supposed to pay once you will deposit the amount in your bank next time bank will subtract that amount so bank overdraft is current liability it is payable within one accounting period then payables these are the entities are the persons uh, from whom you have bought the goods on credit so against that credit you are supposed to pay normally its due date uh, term period is within one accounting period so payables are also categorized as current liabilities then we have long term bank loans it could be short term or long term time time periods loan bank is giving you the loan against guarantee guarantees for like 5 years for 10 years for 7 years for 8 years so this is called uh, long term liability you are supposed to pay able to bank in the future time period then we have bonds this is also a instrument uh, through which you can get the uh, borrow the money from the people by issuing the bond certificate to the people the uh, the uh, the holder of that certificate is entitled to receive uh, the principal amount which he has given to you along with that uh, some specified interest so bond is also a long term liability it could be for 2 years for 5 years for 10 years uh, so any business entity can borrow the money by issuing the bond instruments Thank you very much, uh, guys, for your time. This is all about for today's session. Uh, I believe you may have enjoyed. I will come up with another uh, terminology, which is expense and income uh, in my next short video. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for your time.